So here we are, we go again. This time though, I've had runners, many marathon runners, marathon runners, they want to know what should they do. I can give them ideas on nutrition and technique, form running, stuff like that. What would, what would, your, what would your tips be? Well, generally speaking, the tips start off, uh, you know, they say to train for a marathon, start at least a year in advance. There's groups you can join mm -hmm. uh, that'll take you through the process, starting small and building gradually. Uh, they'll also say get a good pair of running shoes and start small, right? Mm -hmm. Start a year out. Mm -hmm. One thing that's not really talked about that's critical is making sure that the primal muscles that protect everything from your right. knees, your hips, your back, your neck, and shoulders, and contribute to efficiency in running, mm -hmm. making sure those primal muscles are established before yeah. you even train. Right. right. Uh, in fact, right. a lot of people injure, right. or enter this process with some low-grade overuse injuries. Mm -hmm. um, and what you'll, these will be, uh, for example, you'll see neck pain or tension, headaches, okay. maybe a history of low back pain a couple mm -hmm. times a year. Those people should address this first as should someone who's not injured, who mm -hmm. just wants to get into running. Mm -hmm. So start with strengthening the four primal muscles mm -hmm. correctly, mm -hmm. um, which we teach in here, uh, which you now know how to do very well. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not uh, commonly well taught, which is strengthen the lats, right. the lat dorsi, mm -hmm. effectively, mm -hmm. uh, the trunk, the muscles of the trunk, right. all the abdominal wall muscles, mm -hmm. the gluteus maximus, and the inner thighs. Mm -hmm. Once those muscles have adequate strength, they can handle the force loads, obviously, that right. um, could potentially injure the second and tertiary muscles that most runners end up having to keep stretching. Sure. Tip number two. All right. If you feel the need to stretch because you have tightness, tightness is the hallmark of injury. Mm -hmm. So now you have to look at your training for what it is and, and, and realize that you may now have an overuse injury instead of trying to stretch and push through it and train through it until you can't. Mm, um, you're better off pulling back, resting the injured tissue. Mm -hmm. Go back to the basics again, strengthen the primals, the four primals, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and looking at technique, nutrition, the amount of rest you're having. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we, we, we find ourselves stretching all these small muscles, the piriformis, right. uh, a fascial band on the outside of the leg called the mm -hmm. IT band. Mm -hmm. um, our low back muscles, our hamstrings, mm. and which is a collection of muscles. The hamstring isn't one mm -hmm. muscle, it's right. a collection of muscles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, backs of the shoulders, right. small muscles, rotator cuff, for example. You see people doing this. and mm -hmm. If you feel that need to keep stretching, you have some, to some extent some muscle damage. Uh, damage. Mm -hmm. sure. So uh, hopefully you can find somebody who understands the nature of those um, tissues and injuries and can give you a, a good assessment and give you an idea of, of how much you should pull back before going forward and pushing deeper into injury. Mm -hmm. um, tip number three, uh, I highly recommend using cool baths, cold baths afterwards to pull the heat out of the You mean after the training? After the run. The, or the race, or both? Definitely after the race. Definitely <laughs> after the race, okay. Um, sure, but anytime you run, working muscles Started at 98.6 degrees, but working muscles create energy, energy creates heat, okay. and muscles, or more specifically, proteins start to denature and break down above 101.4, mm -hmm. which is why it's critical to then pull the heat out after the athlete is finished so that the protein can form strong bonds again, creating healthy tonal tissue. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not just for uh, the injured athlete, mm -hmm. the ice bath or a cold bath, mm -hmm. or even getting into a swimming pool and just floating. Mm -hmm. And resting for 15 to 20 sure. minutes mm. is better than nothing, and, and actually go a long way towards uh, speeding up the recovery of the overheated tissue, right. which is right. what it boils down to. So, uh, control the temperatures of the tissues, uh, even training in cooler weather. Okay, there's a reason why it feels better. Tissues, cooler weather. Okay. Um, proper running proper technique, running technique, which is becoming much better understood these days. Mm -hmm. No more heel strikes. Right. Uh, when you're running, landing on your skeleton, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, looking at uh, tightness as injury and not something that needs to be improved. This to your body it shouldn't be tight. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, the non-injured tissue does not get tight. 
Right. Um, which means it's ready to go again. Mm -hmm. But it does all go back to one important factor, which is make sure that you understand how to perform and train exercises to to reach the baseline minimum strength necessary in your primal muscles. Mm -hmm. They will prevent injury to the frame, the low back, mm -hmm. <clears throat> improve efficiency, mm -hmm. uh, which is consistent with what uh, the U.S. Olympic track team found years ago, over a decade ago, mm -hmm. that they could shave the most time off of their long-distance runs by doing core work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I just have because I'm a big, big advocate of that. Man. Yeah, core exactly. Work. Mm -hmm. So that's where I would start. I think those are probably the most critical mm -hmm. uh, beyond the, the typical nutrition, you know, training, enough time out. Um, but it really boils down to injury prevention when it comes to performance. Wonderful. All right. Hopefully All that right. helps. Yes, sir. Those marathons approaching. Yes, around the corner. <laughs> Three weeks away.